Hello Coastal Crafts again. So I wanted to show you some bits I picked up in the shops lately. So I popped into Home Bargains and they had lots of new things in and I was very tempted to buy all sorts of bits and pieces but these bits that are probably quite possibly not even new but just tempted me were what I picked up. So I have got adhesive pearls already that are kind of that kind of nice white pearly colour which I do really like but I thought I would try out this more, what would you call that? I don't even want to go copper, bronze, I don't know, kind of a, it's quite light, it's lighter as well in person. Yeah, anyway, that colour, kind of a brown pearlescent colour, so I like those. And they weren't very much, but either 49p or 79p, can't remember. This was £1.29 though, which is a bit more, but I just really like this binding, it's canvassy. The kind of thing that... um. When I was showing these dies in a previous haul, the kind of things that you could cut out really easily to make them into a different shape if you have those fabric dies, but I really like that. Very kind of, I guess, shabby chic if you were to add lace and things to it. Yeah, £1.29, home bargains. Really like that. I can see me using it in different projects of three metres. Mark, let's cover up the mark there. Um, just whilst I was in Hobbycraft, I don't think I've showed these yet. 25p, they still had some of their Christmas stuff, things sold off. And I hadn't picked these ones up before when I'd been in for the sale. And I thought, actually, I really like those little bows. To me, they're not overly Christmassy, so they're probably just things I'm going to use all year round. But you get a good watch of those. That tell you 40 pieces. That's enough to last semi forever, isn't it? Because we don't use, how often do you use a wooden bow? Winter woodland collection, so I'm sure they're still selling stuff off. Um, and I'm also, whilst I were there, not that I need more glitter paper, but I did pick up this down to £1.50, the pack of A5 card. For a start, it's always very useful to have glitter card, but I was going to do some stuff for school, but I don't know if I am now with it, but I will definitely make use of that. It's a lovely colour, that purple. So, yeah, really like that. Um, and then in um, Tesco's for £1.50, I got this pack of napkins. See how many you get? You can probably read as well as I can. 20. Yeah, and they're the full napkin size. I'll actually open up. I'm trying to make as much rustling noise as humanly possible, it does seem. Can I open that? Have I got a pair of scissors? All these questions that we asked. I just thought that'd be really pretty. So obviously it's for decoupage. We've been talking about getting into that bit lately. Although I haven't been showing you much. <laughs> just like, have I really created anything? Not a lot yet would be the answer to that. But I'm on the way towards making it. How pretty is that? They had quite a few in there that I really like. They had a nice one that must have been for Easter. That was like a rabbit and a chick sitting next to each other. How pretty is that? It's going to be decoupaged onto something. So I had to pick that up whilst I was in there to get something completely different. And on the subject of decoupaging, decoupé, however you say it, I wanted some more napkins. This was when I couldn't find any in various shops before I found this lovely set. And I had a look on the internet, on eBay, and they had various where you could buy really small amounts, quantities for, um, for they're generally about sort of two pounds, a bit below two pounds, and yeah, they're really pretty. So, with this one, it was a pack of six. And obviously, if you're going to use it for a party, that would not be in any way enough. But for decoupaging, that's more than enough, isn't it? I think those butterflies are really pretty. Um, so came in one set, lovely little it's called like the napkin house or the napkin company or something. If anyone's interested, I can look it up. Um, that one's lovely floral, slightly different style. Birdies, love a bird, and beautiful purple butterflies on that one. So I really need to get on to using stuff. And I'll show you this thing that I picked up for 25p in Poundland. It did say letters, so I just painted over it because I wanted a blank, a blank canvas. That's going to have some of these little butterflies coming up it so you know 25p it's cute it's going to be even cuter than when I've decoupaged it honestly you may not believe it because <laughs> so slow and ineffective at getting stuff ready but that's what the plan is and then I got carried away 
And I saw these ones, even though I'm not, until now I've got them, I'm thinking, how is that going to be decoupage? I don't know, I really like that design. The girl catching the balloon, not catching balloon, the moon, a bit like a kite. These ones are a bit weirder, but they could be, that, that could be decoupage in some kind of art journal, and then you could um, do arty type stuff on top of it coming out of a hat yep it's kind of weird but interesting this one it really right it reminds me we have pictures like this to you know to inspire the children to write from like a writing prompt and that's the kind of thing that if it was actually a picture on the screen the children I could imagine them writing interesting stories about this castle in a balloon and that one slightly less excited than that one but yeah and then I went on as you do you when you get carried away and it's all about similar price but these are the bigger ones obviously so you get four of the bigger ones and six of the smaller ones so these ones that were they're kind of printed on not kind of they are printed on this text and I think it's a really cool design so I'm imagining paintings being white and having this on there but I don't know how it'll work with the text but he's kind of cool isn't he he's very sort of country English old-fashioned style Bit of a fantastic Mr. Fox style person there. And this one I seem to have screwed up. This was actually my favourite, the Dalmatian. I love it. So yeah, that's all the decoupage stuff I've picked up. Um, and my plans <laughs> are obviously to paint things and decoupage them and actually get on with doing that. And now I've got such a massive collection. I've got no excuse whatsoever, have I? But whilst I'm on here, I will show you. These came around my birthday they were a bit of a later one just so I didn't see the person in in mind who gave them to me but there's some paper pads but I thought I'd show them she actually gave them to me a while ago but I hadn't done a video in between so I've got three paper pads and I presume they're from the works um this one with a Christmas one but actually when you open it up it doesn't look Christmas -y. these were birthday present I don't know if I made that clear uh, you see how pretty they are and these 12 by 12 paper pads, really useful. And they are good, um, a good buy, aren't they, really, from the works and the range. I don't often do it, it's not like I need more paper, but now I'm more more tempted. So that was a contemporary Christmas paper pad. And I also got given, looks like such a mess, doesn't it, when I pull stuff away on the table. This one's wonderful sweetness. So I'm not sure if she got these ones in a sale, which I'm totally cool with, I'm all about money saving or whether they are new ones I don't know so that's like that Parisian do you like my Parisian bows donuts watermelons just pointing out the obvious here that's really cute like that just have to point out the obvious isn't it and do this more quickly macaroons I've already used that one it's exciting isn't it more macaroons and we must repeat on there so that's really chunky then the third one that I got given in my birthday present was this English moments this must be one of my favorite ones um just colors and the flowers look how beautiful that is that really reminds me of sort of older wallpaper and fabric and curtains and things and obviously these ones that are really useful backdrops but just a really lovely deep color to it gorgeous aren't they Love that, and I'm all about the red check. So I use that probably more of a country kitchen style project. Beautiful, aren't they pretty? Lovely. Poppies, that one not so much, but you can't win them all. Random, why is there cups of tea in there? Sort of spoils it, doesn't it? We'll just overlook that because I can actually use the red spots. Um, and of course it goes back. They do like to stick a random one in them, don't they? But there we go. Pretty sure, I'm hoping <laughs> that's all the things that I've bought lately because it feels like a never-ending stream of stuff to show you but yeah I will get on next time and try and show you more things that I have created. Speak to you soon, bye!